Hey guys, and welcome back to Front Mission. Now, when we last left off, we were just about to head up against the wall. I believe these guys were called. Yeah, these guys, man. Okay. Uh, I kind of think we're slightly under level to take these guys on, but uh, you know what? I'm sure we're going to be fine. We're going to be relying heavily, 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 heavily on our rockets. But that's good. Now, what I kind of like to do here is I like getting bunched up in this terrain ahead of us because that means that they have to take a pretty long way round. Also, it's really important here um, to have everyone equipped with long range missile launchers, preferably uh, ones that have three. Oh, God. And we've still got her who's, yeah, very under equipped, putting it lightly. All right. Yeah, so you want to have at least like three barrages of rockets with everybody as well, which does help. Okay, now Pee Wee is going to be kind of important here because we might get to the stage, and I say might, we're almost definitely going to get to the stage where we're going to need to get everybody reloaded with rockets. Now, uh, last time I played this section, I was kind of heavily over leveled. Because I was spending a lot of time in the arena. Now, first time I did this level, I was playing it on the DS. And I was not heavily leveled. And I came out of it not too bad. So, um, this is a very difficult fight for sure. But as long as, you know, you, you play your cards right, it's not too bad. Now, these two guys, Getter... And I don't know what all their other names are about looking. But these guys are close combat mechs. So. That's going to kind of save us. If we can get some serious hits on. That's going to save us. Like at least if we can heavily disable these guys. Let's get as many missiles up here as we can. Can you aim up here? Yeah. If all of these guys came to us straight away. We would get, we would have a seriously bad time, no doubt about it. But because they kind of um, stagger their attack, that's the only real thing that saves us here. But that's all right. That's all right. Get as many rockets into the area as possible. Um, possibly going to keep a couple of guys over here as well, just. In case. Because they are coming from the other side as well. Now. Pee Wee. We do want him. Ah, uh, we Like, look at this. We've almost fucked this guy up already. We want him kind of in the middle. Because he can resupply. Everybody immediately. Around his side. And we're going to rely on that. Quite a lot. Alright, they're sending the basic drones in, which is fine. Um, the basic drones, uh, they're just more of an annoyance than anything else. To be honest with you. Should be fine. So, we've had our first missile volley. Now, things are going to start getting a little bit serious. So, I mean, Getter is basically toast. Josh is moving in, though. So let's put a salvo at this guy, which of course completely misses. Now, because of the RNG nature, you do not want these missile attacks to be missing at all, right? That is bad, right? They miss, you're going to have a bad time. Nice. We took out his uh, one of his weapons. If these guys actually get up to you and get into um, some melee combat with you, you're going to have a bad time, all right? They're not unbelievably tough, but they can somewhat reliably. If they get a good shot on you, they will one-hit your units. What kind of stupid armor they got on here? Don't let them surround you. Yeah, well, that's basically the only bit of advice. Come on, JJ. JJ. Ugh, not great, JJ. You know what? Let's see if I can pull you back. And yeah, you can. You can actually get missile range. Come on, Frederick. There we go. Destroying their legs is actually not a terrible idea. 
to be fair. Right, let's get her. See, she's going to be trouble. I'm going to pull her back. And you as well. We do kind of want the terrain advantage as much as we possibly can. These guys are pretty messed up. But there is a missile behind, which I'm not... I'm not super excited about, I'm going to be honest. Um, take out Josh. Josh is actually closer to us. So he's kind of the primary threat here. I would say. These two won't attack until... The, we, we basically go to them which is quite nice and neither of those those guys aren't advancing on us either which I haven't seen that before oh May's getting fucking rattled around there that's not fantastic yeah they're gonna they're gonna really have a hard on for her that's kind of possibly exploitable possibly now, they're kind of coming at me in a sort of different formation here. If May goes down, I mean, it sucks, but it's not really the end of the world. Okay, so what we're going to do here. Uh, May, I want you to get out of here. Or do we... Hmm, she is useful because she is drawing all of their fire, which sounds cold. But, I mean, it's helping us, sort of. Right, whilst we've got the ability, let's hit these guys. Alright. Not bad. I'd have rather taken out his other arm, but I guess we'll take it for now. Um, I mean, Josh is basically toast. Let's give him a round. Alright, that wasn't great, but his legs are gone, which is fine. Um, in fact, because his legs are gone, he's not going to get round to us for a while. You know what? Hit him with another salvo. Oh, nice. Getter is gone. No, how? Now, what I like about this is, um, according to the canon, pretty much all of these guys actually die here except one. But we won't go specifically into that. Let's get Josh. Alright, that's fine. I mean, Josh is basically bone now. He doesn't really have any meaningful way to attack us. If we got another decent salvo in on him, we could probably take him out. But I'm more concerned about these missilers here. Yeah, if we could bring these missilers down, we'd be in a much, much better position. Um, would I rather... You know what? I'd rather take another shot at the injured missler. I'd rather just remove him from the battlefield you didn't listen to me did you i said i'd rather remove him from the battlefield all the time he's still got one missile pack that's an issue i mean i guess i guess we'll just try and see what we can do here frederick uh it kind of sucks but ah uh, you know what go on go on Spread the love out. See, look, you're not disabling the right arm, guys. You're really not disabling the right arm. Not happy with that. May, just try and tank it, okay? Don't worry about losing your weapons. Just tank the damage, if you can. Oh, God, if she does, it's going to be close. Yeah, this is where it's going to start getting a little bit more painful. Now they have all of their missiles to bear. Having said that, we're fairly resistant to these guys. Oh, come on, May. No, she's had enough. Yowie, that hurt. You know what, May? I know you're down and out for this battle, but you actually bought us um, some time. I don't like using my guys as decoys, but... <sighs> you served a purpose, all right? And it was an important purpose. You saved our big heavy hitters, to be honest. Right, what can you can only aim at Josh, so get rid of him. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. You can hit the missile in behind. You can also hit him over there. 
Alright, well, take him out. Come on, Natalie. Oh, Natalie. God damn it, Natalie. Right, take him out. Just at least remove one from the board. Thank you. Alright, Keith. Happy with that. Now, don't really care about Josh. Josh is too damaged to be a significant threat. This guy, on the other hand, is still weaponized. Fred, you know what? Aim for him. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. I'll take it. Can you hit him again? Yes. All right, Paul. I'll 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 take it. I'm happy. Now, this guy. This guy's still pretty armed and pretty dangerous. This guy you could potentially take out. You can see, unfortunately. Ah, we hit his missile pack. All right, so we. All right, we actually disabled him. He's rendered pretty much useless. I don't know why he's not moving in. And none of them are moving in, really. I'm not actually complaining about it. To be fair. Now this is... I don't know if I'd call it an exploit, to be honest. It just seems to be the way that this happens. If it is an exploit, fair enough. But I discovered this um, working pretty well on my first time playing this on the on the DS so I guess that's cool that they kept this exploit in the game or this little advantage I mean technically that's what it is right we're using the cover to our advantage impossible how could they beat me with large concentrated volleys of rockets apparently you're done get out of here Natalie I want you Oof. Natalie, take him. <laughs> nice. You didn't bring him down, but you disabled him, which is basically the same thing. Ha oh, ha ha. Keith rocks his world. He's gone. He's had enough. He is out of here. Right. That's what we like. Um. Now, this is a little bit more questionable. I guess, really... Do we even want to take him out? I mean, of course we want to take him out, but... Frederick can't do anything, so we shall resupply with Frederick. Paul can't really do anything. I mean, I guess, can Paul come around here? You know what? Let's hold for a turn. Ah, Adler. Adler can get some rounds on. He's only got two volleys left. Which he missed, squandered. But we can always pull him back. Um, you resupply your missiles. Now, if you hit the resupply, you will resupply both um, of your weapons. That's not too good. He's taking a bit of a knocking there. That's fine. Um, right, I'm going to put a volley at him. I need to resupply my missiles as well, apparently. Oh, his missile system is out of action. Oh, we can get guide now. Okay, so we've got our first skill unlock. This is guide, and it allows you to manually target uh, enemy parts, but only with missile weapons. It's... It's okay. Okay, I guess. I mean, I don't really see the, the advantage of it, to be honest. Because, yes, you can specifically target Wanza parts. So, you can, uh, if they've got a dangerous weapon, you can go for that weapon. Or you can go straight for the midsection. The trouble is, just because you aim at that particular part, doesn't mean that's going to happen. I mean, they're still going to miss. They're still going to hit other parts. So... But, you know, it's a skill. We'll, we'll have it, I guess. Alright. Let's fire a load at him. He should be done. Alright, Ryu. Not bad. Natalie. Light his ass up, please. 
Oh, he's completely armless now. Very nice. And she's got guide as well. I guess we'll take it. Um, right, for now, just hold still. You're completely re-equipped. Frederick, you're re-equipped. Actually, what I should be doing. Uh, I can't go back now, can I? That's unfortunate. Right, Missler at the back. Hit him. Alright. Ah, oh, no, we disabled the wrong weapon. God damn it! Uh, you know... No, you stay there. You're, you're better off there for now. So they're still not moving in. I don't know where the trigger points on the map are. They're not that far away from them, in all fairness. Ooh, okay. That's okay. That's fine. Right, I am going to... Warm you up, I guess. Let's stop playing around with these guys and just get rid of them. We're getting some nice parts and things which we can sell. Uh, are you out of miss? Oh, she's out of missiles, which is fine. She can spend her turn resupplying. You have to have a full turn to resupply. Right? You can't resupply mid battle, unfortunately, or if you've already moved or something. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move him out the way. He can fall back there. Everybody that has maximum amount of missiles can back off. Paul, you need to rearm. So you can move in. Unfortunately, like I say, you can't move him next to the uh, supply truck and then reload. It does take an entire turn. Which, yeah, you know, it is what it is. Right, you're out of missiles now. And you cannot resupply if you're uh, diagonally adjacent either. They have to be completely adjacent. So it's only in front, to the left, to the right, and to the rear of the truck that they can resupply. Which is also worth noting. Uh, you can stay there, Peewee. Alright, these guys, are they activating? They've got egret launchers as well. They're not actually activating. They're just attacking each other. Oh, that was a unwise decision to jump into the thick of it. You know what? We're going to attack. We're going to attack with the Leo Social. Now, I mean, you can give me these little love taps if you like. You're not going to get very far with them, I don't think. There we go. It's completely disarmed. And he's... In a, uh, in a really bad way. Uh, I'm going to leave you two alone. You can attack, I guess. If they've already fully reloaded their weapons, they can stay behind. They're fine. Nice. Pool's leveled. Alder. Alder, you're out of weapons, aren't you? Yeah, and he's still attacking you, which is curious. I think the AI will go for a enemy that is weak. Or the, the one it deems to be the weakest, I should say. You know what? Screw it. Take him out. Then we can concentrate on rearming and reloading everyone. In peace, goddammit. Right, Frederick. You're armed and dangerous. You can go down there. They're still not moving in. That's fine. Um, I need to rearm, resupply. Ryuji. Oh, he's actually completely out of weapons. That's good to know. Uh, Natalie is completely armed up, so she can move down. Um, Jerry can needs to rearm. JJ's cool. He's loaded. Fred's cool. Paul. Needs to reload. Alda has reloaded, but he needs to move and repair. So, move that way. And you know what? Use an item. Start getting yourself patched up. Peewee can chill. Um, Ryu, Ryu, you are out of weapons completely. So, move into position to reload. Yeah, they're still going to just hold fire there, which is fine. Um, I have reloaded, so I can move out of position. 
cool. Um, you can resupply. You're fully equipped. You can reload. Resupply. I can't remember off the top of my head. You know what, you're only missing one volley of missiles, so you can move forwards. Frederick, you're good. You're fully equipped, Paul. Well done. Move out. It is nice of the enemies to give us this opportunity to just, like, fully rearm and re-equip. You can't fault them for it, to be honest. All right, you can stay there, Pee-wee. Okay, so now we should be in a good position to go and attack these guys. Now, what do these guys have? They've got, like, one of them's got an egret and a gold ass. The gold ass isn't super scary, I don't think, but the egrets are. They will really freaking hurt. Okay, so what do you have? They don't have... That's interesting. Just got the Ibis and the Empire. They're really poorly armed. Dave. And who's the other one? Grieg. Dave and Grieg. Alright. Uh, who are these guys called? Rebus. And Milligan. Alright, <laughs> whatever. Cool. Fine. Alright, well... Can we actually get down? No, I think we're going to have to go right round the, out the outside. That's fine. Definitely want to get rid of these missile guys. Because, my god, they're going to hurt. And we want to tiptoe around the uh, ones at the top. Even though they're not that dangerous, I'm pretty sure they have extreme levels of armor. Which is the problem. Although Keith complains about the two guys that we've already dispatched, they're not really the ones that pose a threat. Because although I guess they've apparently got thick armor, it's not that bad. Whereas the guys at the top, man, their armor is thick with two Cs. So let's creep everybody back over this way. And you know what? Let's get Audler back in tip-top shape. We will move you, Pee Wee, but not too far. Although he's fine in a battle, I wouldn't really want to push my luck with him, to be 100% honest with you. Probably would end in disaster. So let's snake towards these guys. We'll try and tiptoe as soon as we're in range. Put a few volleys of rockets at them. Now the trouble with these guys is, as soon as we're in range, uh, they they're going to be in range with us, which is bad. But you know, these uh, machines can take a knock or two. Shame about uh, May Hewer, whatever the hell her name is. She paid the ultimate price. Although she didn't actually, she's just chilling back at base, or chilling in Pee Wee's uh, wagon there, drinking tea and biscuits. We'll get her machine fully maxed out and upgraded at a later date. Hopefully in the not too distant future, to be honest. Right, so it looks like Natalie might be the first. No, she can't quite, can she hit if she goes there? She actually can. Right, who has the two egret launchers? I honestly can't remember if the gold ass does more damage. Right, hit with the egret. And we've got guide. So take the egret out if you can. Alright, well, we hit. We hit one on the side. I'm concerned that we've engaged a little bit too quickly with her, I'll be honest. But that's okay. That's okay. Let's get as many Wanzas into the fight as possible. We're just going to body bag these guys. Pour as many 
rockets down their throat as possible. All the time, those guys are just going to chill up there. Here, kitty kitty. I'll take care of you. Will you now? Oh, ouch, dude. This is what the 64th is all about. What's that? Rockets. All right, that's fine. She tanked those two hits, which I'm kind of glad about. And she's got plenty of repair packs and things like that. Let's see if we can take one out at a time. Should we... Oh, center mass. We could go center mass, I guess. Sure. That's fine. At least one of them hit, right? Um, Natalie kind of tempted to pull you back actually Natalie you can kind of go chill back there and you can smoke a repair kit for your left arm it's kind of more important at the moment JJ you're the next one up get a volley in that really JJ JJ we don't have the luxury of missing shots like this. Alright? We don't. Come on, Fred. Hey, not bad. What? They got through my armor? No! Burn. Burn to death in your little wanza. Right, okay. Let's get some rounds on this guy. Come on, Paul. Not bad. Not bad. I'll take it. Excellent. Yes. Alright. Well, not too thrilled about you hitting the legs, but you know what? A hit's a hit. Right, Pee Wee, you can stay there, buddy. He's still going to go after Natalie. That's fine. That's honestly fine. Right, let's just light him up. Um, you know what? Just hit him with the body. Just go for the. Really? Yep. This is this is my problem. I think with the guide skill, it just I don't know, man. I don't know what it does to be honest. I mean, yeah, it allows you to slightly influence where the missiles are going to hit, but not really. Right, let's just keep wrapping her up in band aids. And let's get some more missiles down range. Come on, Keith. There we go. Let loose those missiles. Now, the one advantage, obviously, here is he can only hit one of us. There we go. One egret is out. We like that. Oh, he's done. Grah! Yeah, sit in there and burn. Mm-mm. Barbecue tonight. Hey, we got an egret launcher, I guess. Right, so. Paul, you're kind of good weapon-wise. Uh, you're also kind of good. I mean, you're only missing one volley. Start getting everybody re-equipped and re-armed. So, resupply. I do wish there was a way of just making this a little bit quicker. I know it'd probably be too broken if you could just, you know, instantly fix everything, but let's get you resupplied. You can chill, you can chill, and you can chill. Now, like I said, in the original DS version, um,. If you were near a supply truck, you'd actually get your health back slowly. Uh, I don't know if that's the same in this, honestly. I couldn't tell you. I guess what we could do is try and find out, I suppose. See who's actually injured. Pull. You can pull forwards. Uh, you guys, just wait there. I don't want to risk 
aggroing these guys forward. Not yet. Um, you're loaded. You can move on. Uh, actually, yeah, Ryuji. Yeah, you can move on. Like so. Right, so she's got 46 and 58. That's how much health she's got left. Right, let's try and remember that, shall we? Right, resupply. And end. Right, so what was it? She's got 46 and 58. So let's end our turn. 46, 58. Okay, yeah, so she is getting her health back. So I've got 49 and 59. She gets her health back just very, very slowly, which is fine. You know, you don't want it to be like too ridiculously OP. Because don't forget, you can have four mechs at one point uh, resupplying their weapons, which is pretty cool. Right, okay. Uh, nope, we don't want that. We want to end the player phase, and then we're going to march towards these guys. We should be good to go now. 60 and 52. Okay. Right. Sally forth. Let's go take these two turds down. Another couple of tossers to fry. Um, yeah, she's injured, but she's fine. She's basically on full health. Now, luckily, these guys don't really have any kind of... Anything too scary. I think the scariest part about these guys is they can obviously take a couple of hits before they go down. Can't actually get in attack range. Which is disappointing, but fine. Whatever. It is what it is. Peewee, you can stay there, mate. Here we go. A bit of rough and tumble. Excellent. Now these guys should be in missile volley range. <laughs> Grieg. Should we go for Grieg? Wow, they do have a lot of health, mind you. Uh, you know what? Just go body shots, man. Yeah, body shots it is. Right, Ryu. Step your ass up over here. Nice. All right. It's a little bit of chip damage. I mean, chip damage is what it is. I'd rather be doing large swaths of damage, but god damn it. We don't seem to have that ability. Come on, that. You know what? We're not going to use guide. There's no point. See, look at that. You don't use guide and you get two solid hits. I don't like the uh, accuracy system in this game. It's just really strange and basic. Cryptic, I think. There we go. Now, they are higher than us, though, on the map, which I do believe gives them an accuracy bonus. But only 8%. You know, or should I say a dodge bonus? Like, Grieg is literally almost, like, flash fried here. Rocket artillery is so OP. And we're all about that OP goodness. You know what, Pee Wee? Move yourself up. Go for the Leo social. You should have ran when you had the chance. Why is that? All of your friends are burning in their wanzas. Well, all of your friends except one. Yep. Although... Although, you can see just how dangerous he kind of is. Um, Fred might go down here. I'll squash you like a bug. Uh, you came close. I'll give you that. Frederick can back off and get himself some repairs. Right, me. I'm going to light yo. Actually, I might back off as well. Just so I can hit you with some rockets. No need getting yourself in danger when you don't need to. Because those rockets, my god, they hit hard. 
which is what we're all about. Alright, let's get rid of him. You didn't listen to me, Ryu. I said, let's get rid of him. If we can bring one down, we're not going to use guide. That's going to be a theme. They, they broke through our defenses. We did. So much for you lot. Hey, we got a repair. Nice. We actually need some of those. Uh, Keith, light them up. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, JJ, let's get you a little bit closer. I need to get you in weapons range. There we go. Oh, man. Frederick, I want you out of there. Um, don't think he's going to be able to get to you, so just hit him with some missiles. He hit you, you hit him. Oh, he's lost his rifle. Oh, he's lost his rifle, and that was like his main way of dealing serious damage to us. Oh, man. We are playing the violin now. Come on. Nobody... Does nobody have any missiles? No. All missiles have been fired. Let's waste them with the Leo Social. Ugh, not quite. You know what? I'll give it a go. Hey! Help, help me! Die. Die. Excellent. It's over. Yeah. They weren't so tough. We should get back to town. Yeah, if I don't get some rest soon, I don't know what I'll do. Pass out, probably. Yeah, not bad. That was actually fairly clean. Shame that we lost um, May, but, you know. That's fine. We'll get her patched up and into the next fight. New and improved. Definitely going to want some repairs. Now... Uh, we might have some upgrades to do as well, which I shall obviously handle all the upgrading and whatnot off camera. Depending on what there is to upgrade, of course. Oh, right. I forgot about this. It literally throws you into another mission. Yeah, this is probably... Yeah, this is a really long string of missions. The liberation of Freedom City is nearly complete, but your job's not done yet. You are to pursue and eliminate retreating enemy units north of the city. Just burn them all, huh? Won't be that easy. Mobile weapon detected. It's a Clinton type. Yeah, it's not that bad. <laughs> all I see is a big sack of coins for me. That's right, JJ. Don't underestimate the Clinton's firepower. Advance with caution. Yeah, so he's kind of right. The Clinton is mad. It will tear you and you asshole if you get close to it. But that's if you get close to it. If you just volley fire rockets at it, it goes down pretty quick. Captain, enemy sighted. All right, you guys keep them occupied, okay? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Yeah, good luck. Right. Now, the first time I did this, uh, I don't... I think I had. Uh, I don't think I had Adler and. Was it Paul? No, I can't remember now. I'm sure, it, yeah, it might have just been Adler, maybe. I don't know. I definitely didn't have this many people. But when you got nine people, it's not too bad. We should be able to roll it pretty easily. As long as we're careful, that is. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, when we come back, we will uh, clear this mission and then hopefully get back to town. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.